our Larry Merton had a chance to sit down with both Trinidad and Vargas to explore their thoughts about a matchup that basically Vargas prompted. He went out and sought it. He asked for the fight. Now he's got it. Why is it important to you to be able to beat Fernando Vargas? Well, no, because a victory over him is in, in very important to, be, to continue undefeated, to look for, be recognized higher, to be recognized as the best pound for pound fighter. It's a very important victory. You've called him a baby. What do you mean by that? Well, he's a young fighter. And I want to show him that I call him a baby because I am the best fighter he's going to face. And I'm going to show that on Saturday. Although he is very young, he seemed very mature in the way he dominated Ike Corte. What do you see in him that says to you that he is inexperienced compared to you? Well, yeah, he looks very good. He, he looked very good against Corte. But in this occasion, I'm going to show him. I'm going to show him about boxing. You've been in so many championship fights. Are you as excited as ever about going into a big fight? Well, of yeah, course, yes. I am waiting for Saturday. Y, y, and and to defend my title. Y, y and, and to be the IBF. champion of the IBF. Esto, uh, sí, I'm very no, emotional and very excited. Why do you think that Felix Trinidad has been so confrontational with you uh, before this fight, including calling you a baby. You know, Felix Trinidad um, has never opened his mouth for any other fights before. He's never opened his mouth. Are you for suggesting it. that you think he's concerned about you and that's Absolutely. why he's doing it? That's the only reason uh, that, uh, that he's been opening his mouth is what I feel. He's definitely concerned. I mean, if he's never changed his routine for any other fights but this one, why is he um, opening his mouth now? He knows that the end is near. Would you compare it in that sense in some way to the Corte fight, who is also considered bigger, older, stronger perhaps than you, Absolutely. and that you fought a disciplined fight? Absolutely, and that's the same thing. You know, I was in there with that anger that this guy said I was nothing. There's no way that, you know, I, mean, I had never fought nobody. He says, how can Fernando Vargas beat me? And I beat him, and I beat him at, at fighting him, and I beat him at, at boxing him. And, um, you know, there's a difference between boxing and running. So, you know, definitely, I definitely think that um, I'm ready for Felix Trinidad and whatever he has to offer. Where do you think he's vulnerable? What are his strengths? Yeah, um, his strengths to me are that he's a strong fighter. I think only at 147, I don't think he's that strong at 154. I think he puts good pressure where people can't take pressure. Um, um, I think that um, I'll be able to capitalize on any fight game he has. Um, he only knows that if I one way, I'm a versus tough fighter, I can fight many ways. Thanks, Fernando. No problem. We remind you, TVKO pay-per-view tomorrow night, and as you watch this telecast on Boxing After Dark, you can and you must log on to hbo.com slash boxing to participate in our poll question for the evening. Who will win the big junior middleweight showdown? Felix Trinidad or Fernando Vargas? Also on the site, you'll see an exclusive video profile of tonight's headliner Bernard Hopkins and learn all about his tough road from prison inmate to middleweight champion. And check out the latest installment of our Where Are They Now feature on former heavyweight contender, Yonkers, New York's own Carl The Truth Williams. It's a beautiful, clear, chilly weekend in Las Vegas. The plane flights from Southern California and Puerto Rico are totally booked up as the boxing public crowds in, looking for their seats and their chance to get into the Mandalay Bay tomorrow night to see Trinidad and Vargas and a pretty doggone good undercard. Hey man, just fit it right in there, don't worry about it. Up your hands, be sharp, change your angle. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the copy.